I wanted a creative outlet. Also, I wanted to get free stuff too. Your channel can be your safe space. My name is Joan. Welcome to or back to my channel. It is spring, so it's time to deep clean. It's time to deep clean our mind, physical, and digital spaces for the new season. As I'm coming to the end of my college career, I want my channel to reflect the type of content that I want to make and some staples that I want to keep. I can say that I have been the most creative that I've ever been in my life and I have quarantine to thank for that. In June when I started to make videos, I finally went all in and created videos that have been on my wish list for months. It was very eye opening to me. So here's my pitch on why you should start a YouTube channel. If you are someone who wants to get better at writing, filming, editing, even general planning, this is the greatest opportunity that you have to craft for yourself. And all you need is just your phone. That's it. Once you pick a topic that you want to explore in your channel, you can literally take those skill sets and even expand them more. So you can do videos on video gaming, fashion, food, filmmaking, woodworking, anything that you set your mind to. If you want to be famous like your fellow influencer, blogger, or YouTuber, then it's going to to take a while. One thing about this industry that no one talks about is that you pretty much need luck and timing on your side. Not everyone is blessed with the right amount of privilege or knows the right people to jumpstart your career. And that is something that I have to not only deal with, but just wrap my head around sometimes. So improving your skills is going to take a lot of time and you're going to make a lot of mistakes. But once you realize why you're doing what you're doing, you can set your mind on anything. When you're starting out on YouTube, it may seem like that you are alone, but that's not the case. I think the aspect of parasocial relationships can kind of deter people from reaching out to their favorite creators because they think that they're bothering them, they think that they're not listening to them, or they're not gonna take their question or comment into effect, but that's not true. I think it's very interesting, the community of YouTube and finding the niche or the specific topic that you're in, because once you find those creators that you are well alike to, or you find influence or inspiration from, like being in that sort of community comes a little bit easier. That goes with leaving comments on videos. Actually, if you click on a specific user, at least on the mobile app of YouTube, you can see that a specific person see how many times they comment on specific videos. You can interact with people that way. And I know a lot of different influencers and YouTubers do leave questions on their like other social media. So they answer like Q and A's and you can leave questions that way. And I think once you get over that hump of thinking that they're never gonna talk to you and just sometimes you have to remember that they are normal people too so they experience the same things we do so if you have a question about experiences or perspective that is okay you can ask that to them and another thing is that most people become friends online the fact of that people have specific internet friends and how people build friendships over years and even business partners over the internet it's very telling and honestly it's something that you have to work your way up to but once you get there just always remember that they are people too. For a long time, like a long time, I wanted to make a YouTube channel because of the creative process. Me, myself, I am a very creative person. I am great at singing, I play the clarinet, I'm great at dancing, I love acting, and I love love doing all other sorts of art. I love painting, that's fun too. And this is just something that I just wanted to do and learn from. I get to see what other creatives are up to and I get very inspired. Now, sometimes my detriment is that I find myself comparing myself Myself to them but that is something that I'm actively working on. As someone who has ADD or ADHD I cannot stick to one specific thing. I love changing it up. I love learning new things. That's why the phrase jack of all trades master of none sometimes irks me. Now I get it. If you really do put your eggs in one basket and you never centralize, you're never going to learn anything. But also I think another thing to think about is that it's not like I want to put my eggs in all the baskets. It's just a thing where it's like it's all related. Part of it is thing that I just have to do everything myself. So I 
want to learn all different things but also but who knows if that specific skill isn't going to help me two or three years from now and it's a thing where it's like right now i'm dedicating to videography photography and editing the fact that i am self-taught over the last i would say i would say three years is a big accomplishment for me i love creating videos and i love challenging myself right now youtube is just the tipping point for me and i am so excited to see what these skills that i have developed can take me i feel so grateful for not stopping when i felt like i wasn't going anywhere hell i mean my skills landed me an internship that just fell in my lap doing the one thing that i wanted to do i mean the specific internship that i had last summer propelled my skills like all the way up to at least an eight out of ten and I learned a lot in that internship and it, once again I'm very grateful and I think just over over time I've learned how to trust my creative process and it just it just thinking about it gets me so excited because I am genuinely excited to see where I can go from here because I know I'm not gonna stay in Ohio forever. I know that for sure. YouTube is an amazing platform for you to build your brand, community, and content. Once you get started, adding other platforms into the mix will be very beneficial for you to build audiences from other places. If I can leave you with one thing, it is to trust the creative process. If you're looking for a push to go make a channel, then here it is. Go do it. Just don't think about what anyone else thinks. Just do what you want so you can be happy and content. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, leave a smiley face in the comments and let me know your favorite creative activity. If you like the content of this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want to be a part of the great gang, hit that subscribe button where I post weekly. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.